Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to our next English lesson. Um, today we're going to carry on looking at the Eye of the Storm, the video we've been focusing on this week, and we're going to look at the next section of that today. As always, bear with me as I share my screen and we can get started together. There we go. As a quick starter activity, I want us to practice some of our handwriting, our letter formation and our joining of letters. As you can see, there are some words on the board for you to practice. The first word being forward. As you can see, um, I want you to have a go at writing this word, making sure we form each letter correctly, making sure we size each letter correctly, uh, making sure our ascenders, our tall letters, go up a little bit higher, and our descenders, our letters that go down, go a little bit lower. You won't have the paper, I'm sure, like you can see on the screen, but have a go on any piece of scrap paper or whatever you might have at home and perhaps send in your best attempts at those letter formations. As always, feel free to pause the video here to, get, to let you have a go at each of those words, and then you can restart it again when you're ready to move on. Now, moving on, we're going to focus on the next section of the video today, and I've put a picture of that video, or that section of the video on the screen now. You might want to go and re refresh your memory of that, and I've put the link at the bottom of the screen here, and it's also in the description just below the video um, on YouTube. The section goes from 2 minutes 20 to 3 minutes 05, and it's all about the aeronaut getting through that storm. He's in the rough of the storm at this point. Once you've had a watch of the video, perhaps have a think, how could you summarize that section in three sentences so you know what happens really well? Again, have a moment to pause the video if you would like, and perhaps we can share some summaries um, together afterwards. Coming back together there, I'm thinking if I was trying to summarize this section in three sentences, I'd be, the aeronaut starts going through the storm and experiences some light raindrops. Suddenly, thunder and lightning is encompassing him. Finally, he reaches the eye of the storm and it turns calmer. That is my three sentences. Perhaps yours were similar, perhaps yours were slightly different. Now, once again, can we come up with any descriptive language to describe the picture, the scene that you've just watched or that you've just summarized? I've given you an example this time. The violent storm encompassing the ship is my descriptive language I've used to describe what I can see in this picture. Once again, have a go yourself, pause the video, See how many different phrases you can come up with. Perhaps you could describe the ship. Perhaps you could describe the lightning. Perhaps you could describe the thunder, the rain. There's so many different things you could describe in this section. It'd be great to get some descriptive language out of it. I'll let you pause and we'll come back together in a few moments time. As always, if you'd like to share some of those, feel free to message some in. I'd love to see some of that wonderful descriptive writing. Alternatively, perhaps you can use it in the shared rights that we're going to look at in just a moment. Now, I've already had a go at the shared right, and I'm going to share that with you in a moment. As always, you can magpie bits that you like from it, but try to use your own ideas, your own structure, perhaps some of your own sentence starters too, so it's not just magpieing all of my shared rights. Let me share mine with you. So I've started um, from the beginning of the storm. So I've written, when the storm struck, the aircraft took a battering. Lightning bolts were piercing the clouds either side of him and the thunder was deafening. I use that word deafening to make it seem like it's very loud, very vicious, maybe even a little bit frightening. The aeronaut was not convinced they would make it safely through. So I try to think about the aeronaut's feelings here, how he's feeling, maybe some of the doubts that he's having. It was a constant battle between him and the steering wheel. It was pulling him this way and that. His body was being thrown side to side. When would it end? I've even used a rhetorical question there to give us an insight into how he's feeling. He really wants it to end at this point. He's getting tired. He's getting perhaps frustrated. He's feeling frightened himself. He's not sure if he's going to make it through safely. Next paragraph. Finally, the storm eased. The man was exhausted and lay slumped over the steering wheel. When he could finally muster the energy to drag his limp body away, he found the key to the dragon's chains laying on the floor. It took all of his willpower to let his companion go. So again, I'm trying to put myself in the aeronaut's shoes. 
perhaps he doesn't want to let the dragon go. Perhaps that's a sad thing for him to do, but maybe he realises that that's something he needs to do, which is why it took all of his willpower. He watched as the, he soared off into the dense clouds. Have a go have a, uh, writing your own version of those events. Perhaps try to use some of that descriptive language you used before. So I used some of that ideas about the violent storm encompassing the ship in my um, writing there. And you can try to do the same. As always, once you've finished it, can you edit anything? Can you edit for spellings? Can you edit for capital letters and full stops? Have you used paragraphs in your writing? Have you always used the most appropriate vocabulary? When I wrote mine, I was very careful to think, right, the word battering really highlights the difficulty that he's having to fly the, the aircraft through the storm. The word deafening really emphasises how loud that thunder was. Perhaps you can carefully consider those word choices in your own writing so you've got the most appropriate throughout and the most engaging for the reader as well. We will pause their year three order. As always, please send in um, your attempts of your writing into the year three order email address. I can't wait to read what you're going to come up with for this section of text. Thank you for listening. See you next time.